Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, it's been a long time since I've done a video, and I was just messing around here uh, on Lockheed Martin's prepared version 4. Really, uh, really interesting simulator. Um, graphics aren't uh, that bad. Uh, pretty comparable to any simulators that are on the market right now, but just was having some fun here offline and thought I'd uh, take you along for the ride. Uh, so thanks for tuning in. Uh, hey Dad, how's it going? You're probably the only one watching this nowadays, so... Uh, Hopefully you can just sit back, relax, and uh, enjoy this flight as much as I do. Uh, so we're sitting here on runway 29 right, and we're going to be uh, making a left-hand turn out to the south, and then we're going to do some uh, slow flight and uh, stalls, and then we're going to come back and do the pattern for a little bit. It uh, should be fun. Looks like it's a nice day out there, so let's go ahead and get at it. I'm going to take it from the takeoff checks. So, takeoff checks, uh, brakes are on, nose wheel steering is off, compasses are within 5 and 3, localizer is not required, PCL 30%, and set, T's and P's are in the green, and answer panel is clear, except for any ice, and clock is set, sock is checked, brakes release, PCL max, let's rock. Torque is set, T's and P's green. There's 60 knots. And there's 30 knots. Rotate. Good engine, good climb. Gear is coming up, and flaps are up. We're above 110. Gear up, lights up, flaps up, boards in, 140. And if you guys have any questions or anything, uh, don't hesitate to shoot me a message or uh, comment down below. Again, uh, this aircraft is the T6 uh, Texan made by Beechcraft. Um, it's a beautiful plane. It's a lot of fun. Uh, high performance. Uh, we have a PT6 1100 shaft horsepower. This thing is a beast. Uh, and it, it rips. Fully aerobatic, obviously. A lot of militaries around the world use this as a training aircraft. Uh, the United States, Canada, Australia, there's 3,500. We're clear to the left. Uh, I'm not sure, actually, if Australia does, but the Brits, I don't even think, use this anymore. There is a British skin for them in this game, but uh, I'm pretty sure they use uh, the Takano now, but I'm not 100% sure. And uh, another thing, I mean, I'm known by... By no means an expert at all. Uh, literally just flying around, doing this for fun in my spare time. Um, so, again, what you see here, um, just take it as entertainment. That's really all it is. And there's south. Let's roll out. Cool, we're at 5,000. Let's go ahead and do a climb check. Hydraulics are down there. 2,846. And we're in the green. Electrical is 28 and 37 amps, which seems a little weird. That doesn't sound about right. It should be under 20. Um, but uh, this flight model isn't 100% accurate uh, in uh, in this. But, uh, you know, it is what it is, so we'll just roll with it. Uh, fuel, we're at uh, 310 balanced. Uh, Obox is normal on lawn in the front. Uh, engine T's and P's are green. Pressurization is probably around 6200, zero PSI. Sure, we get our climb attitude going here. 180 knots, not uh, 190 or whatever we're at right now. And altimeter is 2992, set twice in the front. There's the airport down there behind us, about our seven o'clock. Not a lot of clouds. It's like it's a good day for flying. I just got some music going on in the background here, and not really listening to it, but we got a thousand feet to go. I just thought I'd put something on in the background, unwind from a long day at work, you know. I think this is just a random YouTube playlist. And let's go ahead and do a, well, not that button. Let's go ahead and do a clearing turn here, or clear to the right. 
And 100 feet to go, we start to level off. Don't see any other airplanes out there. Oh, 220 knots. Go. Set our torque setting 65 ish. Depends on conditions of the day. That might be one reason why the airspeeds don't really match uh, very well. But uh, we'll just roll with it. We'll play with it a little bit, mess around. And uh, we're, we're going to go ahead and do our level off check. So, again, hydraulics are 30, uh, we're more like 2 weights, 48, but we're in the green. Electrical is 28 and 37 amps. Fuel, 300 each, we're balanced. Mobiles is normal, normal on. In the front. Engine TCPs are green, and pressurization is probably uh, 8, 200, 1.1 psi. Let's do a clearing turn here to the left. Uh, also, a 200, 292 set twice in the front. want to make sure we're in the proper area when we do this. I don't want to climb 300 feet either. There we go. Let's fix our output two, get our airspeed back. It's pulled up on the stick when I was looking up like that. A um, long time ago when I was doing my motorcycle uh, training safety course, uh, the guy teaching the course said, wherever your eyes go, your hands go. Uh, it's pretty true. I mean, just look where you want to go, and the hands will follow. But uh, it can also be um, counterproductive too, because like I, when I look up, I don't want to pull up, or you know. So. Anyway, just food for thought. Cool. So uh, we just did our climb level well check. So we're gonna do a PSSA check or a pre stall or spin aerobatic check. Um, again, we just did our uh, ops check, so we're gonna skip that. Harness is unlocked in the front. And location, we're at 9,200 feet, um, which is more than enough altitude. And loose articles are stowed in the front. Look out. We can go ahead and pull a 16 2 to the left here. Yeah, we're just looking for other airplanes buzzing around. Quiet day out here. I don't see too many people. And then we're going to roll right in a slow flight after that. Get the nose down, just dropping a bit of rudder in. Let's roll out on this cloud right over. Nice, one of the big puffy boys. The good Alright, we're at, uh, let's say, 9,300 feet. That's what we're going to maintain. Our speed is coming down. We're waiting for 140 so we can configure. There's 150. Should be at 50 percent to work. Climb. I said 9300, so let's stick to that. How's our speed looking? 145, we could configure. But uh, let's wait till 140. This uh, flight model isn't 100% accurate, uh, so we don't have to throw the gear down until we're at 140 in this game. Alright, right on, we're at 140. Landing gear is down, and flaps land. Let's prevent the balloon. It's going to want to come up on us. There it is. Because we just uh, dropped the flaps, which increases the, uh, the amount of lift that's generated by the wings because you're changing uh, the camber. Nice. There we go. And we're just letting the airspeed drive off. We're at 100 knots. Let's go ahead and switch inside to our AOA gauge. As you can see, it is slowly increasing for altitude. That will help it.
And we're sinking, so just a bit more back pressure. There's 14 AOA. ECL 25%. And set. Went to sink. We're at 15 AOA, right on the money. That's where we want to be. Squeak on a little bit extra power to help us fix our altitude. And we can do a clearing turn. Let's go to the right. Leading in with rudder. Right rudder. There we go. 10 degrees angle bank. Just going to get a rudder in the turn. Climbing up nicely. Back off a little bit of that power. 26, 27% should work. Bank too much. Awesome. There's a clearing turn. Leading with rudder on the level out. And let's do one more to the left here. And then we'll go straight into the land flap stall. So yeah, this is slow flight. We're super slow, high angle of attack. Controls are um, not very sensitive. Take, wow, we're doing way too much back. I was trying to look at that river down there. On. Ooh, level off here. Lost about 100 feet in that turn. Eh, no big deal. I'll call that a day. Let's go ahead and move the PCL to idle. And we're just going to hold this attitude and altitude. Or, here we go. We're going to wait for the stall. There's 18 AOA. Stall is coming. There it is. Pressure, power, rudder, level. And climb. Good engine, good climb. Gear. And we're above, well, we're not above 110 yet. We're at 110, so flaps to take off. Now we're above 110, flaps up. Gear up, flaps up, boards in. We're going to level off at 9.5. Awesome. Go. zoom in a little bit for you guys. It's probably hard to see. Uh, I like to zoom in as much as possible though so it can I get good peripheral vision on the sides. And we want 180 knots. Let's set her back to 45. Cool. And now we're going to go ahead and set up for a final turn stall. And we're clear to the left and rolling left. 62. Altitude dropped like 100 feet. Come out here. There's 180. We'll do a second pair and turn to the right. 60. Two is the G I'm pulling by the way. It's two G. Not that bad. And let's roll out uh, or PCL to idle as we come to our rollout here. Find a cloud that I like. I like these ones over here. And we're at 9500. Nice. And for the airspeed to drop off, keep our altitude. turbulence. It's not me doing that. There we go. Alright, 145. Let's wait and hit 140 before we configure here. We got 140. Landing gear is down. Yeah, see it says that. Like I'm expeding my aircraft's uh, gear limit. But no, that I'm not. And now it gets stuck in like this weird bug. I don't know why. Let's try dropping the gear again. Yeah, 
Yeah, see, now it's down, and I don't understand why. Um, 140 is plenty low, or one, even 145 is low enough to drop the gear. Anyway, whatever. Uh, let's continue with the maneuver. Um, flaps to takeoff. You see all 35%. We want to stay at 120. It's probably just uh, part of the game's uh, design on the flight model on the T6, but whatever. We'll roll with it. We'll play around with it. Doesn't matter. We're a little slow. That's because we didn't set the right torque setting. Let's go to 35. Done. You're putting any checks. Now you're down three green flaps. Take off. Boards are in. Panel is clear, except for any ice and fog is off. Cool. So now we're just uh, going to simulate a uh, final turn. Um, so let's say that the runway is just over my wing there, like on the back side of it. Static wicks are. And um, put our flaps to land. And then we'll also cut the power too much and put our nose too high. So literally doing everything we shouldn't be doing in a final turn. And we'll stretch it out, stretch it out. AOA is increasing. Altitude's decreasing. And there's the stall, pressure, power, rudder, level, and climb. Oh, that's like 200 feet there. That's not bad at all. Good engine, good climb. Gear is coming up. And flaps to take off. We're above 110, flaps up. We'll go to 10,000. Gear up, flaps up, boards in, 125. Actually, let's just level off at 95. That's a good altitude. Wasn't that earlier? Um, last, uh, we're going to do a high speed stall. Um, so we want 140 knots, so let's crank it back to 45. But a weird thing about this flight model is that it doesn't really high speed stall the way it's supposed to. You're supposed to like roll in and pull through, be able to pull through the stick shaker, but that just doesn't happen. What happens is instead you get a flick roll, which means the uh, wing that's above you, like if this wing is above you in the turn, um, it will stall first because it's at a higher angle of attack because how it's cutting the air, it's up like that. Um, and you get a flick roll, which means that it will snap to the other side, and then you get a lot of yaw because the propeller on this thing is such a beast. Um, and then what will happen is you enter a spin. But you know what? We're going to try it anyway. If we go into a spin, we'll just do a standard spin recovery. Not a big deal. We got lots of altitude here, and our PSSA is still valid. So let's just go ahead and jump into it. We'll do a clearing turn here to the right. 60. Wow, that was a little aggressive. 60. Pull. Want to enter this around 140. Should keep this uh, turn going here. Let our speed drop off. And let's find a nice cloud to roll out on. How about those puffy boys? Nice. Cool. We're just letting our speed drip off now. And where's the airport? The OR needle isn't showing up anymore, even though I set it to earlier. I think it was because I, when I reloaded the flight model, it canceled it. Anyway, whatever. Um, but yeah, we're at 140, and we'll turn to the right. ECL comes to idle, and we want to pull. Pull, 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 pull. Now the nose should stop, but see how it just flick rolled like that? Yeah, that's the spin that I was talking about. So flight controls neutralize. Opposite rudder. It's very, very finicky to recover. And there we go. Wings level. And full power as we come through and climb up. Let's climb it back to 7,000. No, let's get 220 knots and set 65%. Anyway, yeah, so that didn't really work out well. I didn't think it would. Um, it doesn't really work right. Uh, but let's do a check, make sure everything's good. Um, let's see one round. Aircraft, uh, how much G did we pull? We've only pulled five. Um, five and a half. That's not too bad. Um, definitely would have felt it though, for sure. Let's get back down to 7,000. And also, can 
view is very finicky, but we want to display our view bar so we know where the airport is. And let's go ahead and RTB. And we want to send down to 3,000. So we're just going to zip down there super quick. Make our RTB lag a little shorter. Oh yeah, we're cruising now. Watch our MP that high. It's 102 though, it's within limits. Oh yeah, we're flying. It's awesome. We're 25 miles away right now. We're doing 280 knots. So we should be there probably in like, what is that, like two miles a minute? A little more? So we'll probably be back in like, I don't know. No, it's way more than two miles a minute. It's like, it's like four miles a minute, five. So we'll be back in like four minutes, which is pretty crazy if you think about it. There is a, the area out here is a little higher um, than the rest of the area. This is about 2,000 feet AGL, so we're just zipping 1,000 feet above the ground right now. It's a little hilly as well. And I'm just uh, keeping 40% torque there, just let the speed off. I'm going to reset it here at 220 though, 65%, just because we still got a bit of ways to go. Yeah, so we're going to come back in, uh, we're going to join for the overhead break. We'll do an overhead break, and we'll do a closed pattern, and then we will do a straight end to finish it all off. Yeah, we would have done our pre-descent checks back there, and uh, listen to the ATIS and get the altimeter setting, all that good stuff. I'll just run through the pre-descent checklist just for fun. So, ops check uh, 2,886, we're in the green, hydraulics-wise. Electrical is 28 and 37. Miles. Excuse me. Um, fuel is 280 in each, we're balanced. And O-box no one on, engine instruments... Uh, T's and P's are in the green. And pressurization is uh, 3,000. And we're about 15 miles away now. When I get to 10 miles, I'm going to turn right and try to find the landmark uh, for the region. Now, this thousand feet looks pretty low, but uh, it's actually really not. Um, a couple of years ago, I was doing some low-level navigation stuff, and we're ripping around 500 feet off the ground. We're only going 120 knots, though, so um, not quite as fast. I'm doing like twice the speed now. Um, yeah, you get a lot of lower-level turbulence, and it's one of the only times I've really only felt air sick was getting bounced around a tin can for like three hours. And it's super hot, low level too, especially in the summer. And there's 10 miles. Landmark should be just out here, so I'm going to turn to the right and try to find it. It's, uh, it's a little lake, but uh, I don't know if we'll be able to find it. So we might have to find something else that makes sense. 
Well, there's also like a little farm. Oh, there's there it is right over there. A little uh, brown tower. We'll use that as a as a good uh, reference. It's close enough anyway. Yeah, airport should just be off to our uh, off to our eleven o'clock. I think I can see it barely just over there. Still not kind of loaded. I don't see uh, anybody else running into us and uh, doing the same thing we are. Right on, there's the barn. 60 and 2. It's right over top of the barn. Roll out. And let's go ahead and slow our speed down. We also want to get down to 2,700 feet. Our heading isn't quite right, so let's just adjust. It should be about 0, 020 0 on the rejoin, so that barn wasn't perfect. It might be good spacing wise, but. That's a, little, that's a little better. The airport should just be over there now. Okay, 2700. Yeah, there's a runway right there. Right on. And we're just going to slow down and configure. Actually, no, we don't want to configure. We want to... Ah, we'll do a straight in for this one. We'll do the overhead break on the next one. It doesn't really matter too much. I'm not going to do any radio calls or anything like that. I'm just going to take it easy. Just relax and enjoy flying the plane. We're 140 knots. Gears down. Flaps take off. CL 35%. Watch the balloon there. Let's go ahead and do our 45 degree turn. Put us on the left base. Going towards the city. Now we're getting ready to intercept final. Doing 120 knots, we're looking good. Get a little bit more power. Wait at 35. on. There we go. Put ourselves on final. Roughly three miles. And we'll intercept glide path. It's about 25 torque uh, at this distance. Should give us a good, good approach. We want to be at 120 knots. Until three quarter mile when we go flaps land. We're looking good. Nice and stable. Go for the center line, airspeed, runway. A little high, so I'm just going to adjust with the power. Get that center line. Three quarter mile, flaps land. Yeah, flaps landing, or correction, uh, three green flaps land. Boards are in, that's very clear, because we're going to get off. Probably done that check a long time ago, but I was too busy talking to myself. I'm going to be 100 knots right over the runway. We're a little quick here. It's all right. We're just a little longer. Watch the balloon. Wow, there's a lot of balloon right there. It's kind of ugly, actually. I don't really like that. There we go. There's the mains touching. Bouncing it a bit. Oh, wow. Beautiful. <laughs> That's all right. We'll do better on the next one. Powerful, 80 knots. Rotate, gear is coming up, and flaps up to takeoff. And we're above 110, flaps up. Gears up, flaps up, boards in, one. Yeah, so this one we're gonna go ahead and do an overhead break.
You know, that's one thing about this plane is hanging out, having fun one second, and the next second you realize you're about 30 seconds behind the airplane. Uh, is what it is, man. Again, this is just for fun. We're just practicing, hanging out. Going up to 3,000 here. 100 feet of, uh, below. Just level it off nice and easy. Zoom in a bit so you guys can see the numbers better. There's 200 knots. Back to power at about 65% to keep 220. Right now, we're nice and stable. And we're just waiting for the airspeed now. There it is, 220, we're clear to left. Roll left, 60. And two. Two is the G's, by the way. I don't know if I said that already. Flying through 3,000, so I'm just using a bit of rudder to kick my nose down. There we go, roll out. Let's see any traffic joining in. And we can go ahead and roll 60. And two. Pull through. And roll out. Yeah, the airplane's really happy at this airspeed. Trimmed out, just chilling. Climbing a little. Barely anything. 40 feet. Very, very sensitive. You really gotta watch it sometimes. Just to bounce around. And we're just looking for traffic that might be turning to us like uh, we just did. Let me turn left there. And there's nothing. Let's go ahead and uh, do our fuel. We're getting a little, uh, a little close in, just correct my heading. Let's go ahead and check our fuel. It's uh, 250 in each balanced. Uh, I've probably got time for like two more circuits, so we'll do that. And hydraulics are 2886. We're in the green. And entities and peas are. A little bit of turbulence right there. I just like skyrocketed like 100 feet and got shaken all over the place. Where's that barn at? Should be a barn right there. Yeah, look at that. A little bit of turbulence down low. We'll just use this intersection. That one right there. Let's wait for the wing to hit it, and 60, pull it through. And roll out. Yeah, we're just doing the same thing we were doing before. And there we go, roll. Could have done that a little sooner, but... Right on, so we set ourselves up for the overhead brake. We're at three miles. Make it probably make a radio call here, but I'm not going to bother. A uh, cool thing about uh, the overhead brake is it was developed in World War II uh, when the enemies were like pretty close to the airfields and they'd be shooting at you uh, when you're trying to come in and land. And instead of coming in like long and slow like we did for the last one, this one's going to be really tight and quick, so we're going to stay closer to our own defenses. Um, and uh, it's going to limit the amount of time that we're low and slow and uh, making ourselves a target. So um, Yeah, it should be pretty cool. I can do it right, but uh, we'll give it a shot and see how it goes. We'll just use the tower as a good reference here, why not? Nice, right on, wings, PCL, 
60 and 2 bull. A little bit over G. There we go. 2, 2, 2. Keep 2, keep 2, keep 2. Nice. Right on. Roll out here. Don't crowd the runway. And we're just waiting for our speed to bleed off here. It should theoretically bleed off a lot quicker than that. But, uh, I mean, here we are. We're at 145. Landing gear is down. Flaps to take off. CL 35%. Landing gear is down. We have a bit of a long final here. Landing gear down three green. Uh, flaps at takeoff. Boards are in. Unspare clearance for any ice and defog is off. Perch point. Flaps land. Nose down, wing down, power down. Oh, we're on speed. That's a good thing. Going 45 max here. Firm three green. So we're coming in really hot again. Okay, fix it. We want to be 100 knots over that threshold, theoretically. It looks like we might be pretty close. Pretty close. Right on. It's like right on the money. And letting sure you're power idle. Clear. A little bit of a balloon. That landing attitude though, look down, look down. There's the mains. Nose gear. Powerful. 80 knots rotate. Good engine, good climb. Landing gear is up. Flaps to take off. We're above 110, flaps up. Here it flaps up, boards in. 130. We're going to do an overhead break for this one. For correction, uh, closed, closed pattern. So, shallow climb. We're past the threshold of the runway. And we just want 60, 20 degrees. Just blend it through. 2700. And 3000. Keep on. Oh, that's not good. Bump the PCL. Same, we're at uh, 140. Any gear is down. Flaps. Take off. Just gonna configure a bit early because the speeds don't really go right. Also, not sure why I don't have free green yet. What the heck? The weirdest thing ever. It said I exceeded my aircraft's landing speed, but we're at... We're at 140. I don't think I... Anyway, let's break out. And go ahead and troubleshoot this problem. I think I broke the plane. Classic. Alright. Let's break out this way. I want to keep um, 140 though, I don't want to go any faster than that. Yeah, done. Alright, um, let's try cycling the gear. Oh! What is going on? Yeah, well, I have three grain now. That is the weirdest thing ever. I don't know what's going on with this flight model, but uh, we're going to go ahead and rejoin for straight in. And uh, we'll call the flight short right here. So again, we want to get down to 2700. I'm just going to keep the gear down. I don't want to touch it. See that it uh, gives us any more problems. It's 2700. And then you're down three green flaps are 
take off. The speed brake is in, and the spring clear is burning nice and the defog's off. 700 feet. Tight here. We're not quite on the proper reef line, but it's hard without the right landmarks. And we're a little high, so let's reduce the power, fix ourselves. And this is ugly. But uh, we're going to be able to get down, okay? And a quarter mile. Lots of land. Be 100 knots over that threshold. There we go. That one was pretty smooth. I like the other ones. And 80 knots test the brakes. Let's see if we can exit here. Well, that was interesting. First landing gear malfunction. Post landing checks. So pins are in. Flaps are up. Landing light is off. Oh, we keep moving though. We don't need to stop. So, uh, transponder to standby. Our trim should be off. Actually, that should be disconnected. Light is on. Now tr transponder to standby. Awesome. And probes any ice. Uh, probe, uh, correction, geez, propeller and de ice is off and probes any ice is off. Right on. I think that landing gear malfunction did an error to my brain. I'm having a hard time thinking now. Just It was just really unexpected. Anyway. Whatever, we're back safe now. Let's just say we got uh, to where we're going here. And we'll just shut it down uh, right here. Go ahead and do our shutdown checks. Say we're on the ramp. Parking brake is on. Pins are in. Standby avionics. Uh, standby attitude indicator is caged. Avionics master is off. Um, bleeder inflow is norm. Ram air inflow is off. Sorry, this should be off. Spoke there. And norm normal off on the obongs. One minute idle and once the prop has stopped I'm not gonna wait for the sake of brevity for the video and the lights off and that gen is off that's it guys thanks for uh, coming along uh, it was more of an interesting flight than I thought it was gonna be but uh, thanks for tuning in and if you have any questions or comments uh, feel free to leave them in the um, below or send me a message. Alright, take care guys. Have a good one.